Hey guys, this is Grey Aquatics back again with another video. As you remember me, as you may remember me mentioning in a previous video, um, I had to tear down my 55 gallon um, because it sprang a leak. So here I am back again with the uh, the 33 long. I've decided to try something a little bit different. Um, for now, this is uh, just a shrimp tank. I haven't. I rehomed the fish that were in the uh, the 55, which was like 15 neon tetras. I don't really know where I'm gonna go from here. Um, it's a little bit boring right now as a shrimp tank. I mean. I guess it might be a little bit boring because I don't have a ton of shrimp in here. I mean, I have some. You see some chilling out in here. What I'd like to have it, essentially, if it's going to be a shrimp tank, is just, you know, shrimp teeming everywhere. But I haven't <coughs> I haven't got around to uh, buying any more yet. <clears throat> Speaking of shrimp, here is some of the shrimp here. Here's a baby shrimp. Actually, there might be several baby shrimp over here. Uh, maybe, I don't know. There's another one right there, I think. Uh, it could be, I can't tell. At least on camera. Um. These are all cherry shrimp, even even if they're not like red in color. These guys are just kind of bred like this in my tank. <coughs> um, there are some actual red colored ones in here. There's another guy that's more clear. Just not sure where they're at at the moment. They're probably ha hanging out in the rotella. There's one behind there. Oh, here's another one right here. Um, yeah, like I said, I think I'm just gonna roll with this for a little bit. Um, just keep it as a chill, a chill, a chill shrimp tank. Um, I have a little bit more work to do. Um, so it's very frustrating the fact that <clears throat> there seems to be something going on with my f something with my floor. Like at some some portion of the floor where the the tank is at, <clears throat> it actually like sags down because. See, I don't know if you can. Well, yeah, you kind of can. See this water line here. This water line is not even. See how it's kind of visible here. And then as you go down here, it's not visible anymore. Evidently, according to a family member. This side. Is sagging down more supposedly <clears throat> which is why the water line is not even <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to try to reshim the tank at some point um, I'm not as worried about the 33 long you know not being even because it's not I mean yeah it's it's just a bleh, 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 substantial amount of weight but it's not like the 55 gallon was um, the 55 gallon was probably 600 pounds or more of weight um i don't know what the 33 long is but i'm i'm fairly certain it's not 600 pounds i had actually <clears throat> also got I, I don't want any tanks bigger than 40 gallons in this living room again just because of what happened um plus i really i honestly don't need one bigger than that I think the biggest tank I would do in here is a 40 gallon tank, whether it's a breeder, long, whatever. Um, <clears throat> I toy with the idea of possibly tearing this tank down and downgrading to a 20 long, just because of the issues with the floor. And um, the 20 long is a pretty popular size. I've, I've seen a lot of people uh, who love them. But I mean, 
it really didn't make much sense to me considering the 33 long is essentially like a, a 20 long but with an extra you know foot and a half or so other than that it's literally you know the same plus the fact that the uh so if you get a wooden cabinet type stand like this um I was shocked to find in my LFS that they're like 200 bucks. <clears throat> I'm not paying 200 bucks for a stand. It should be like 200 bucks for this stand for 48, 48 inch one. So I don't really feel like paying. Uh, excuse me. I don't really feel like paying 200 dollars for a 20 long stand. That's kind of like out of the question. Um, I threw this piece of driftwood in here just for uh, just something different. I didn't think it would go in here originally, but I mean, I guess it looks all right. Mostly because, to be honest, it kind of sticks out the top of the, the top of the tank a little bit. Here's another cherry, just chilling. Here's another cherry. So when they breed in here, ever since I've noticed that when they breed, they don't always come out red. They only seem to come out red at least like sometimes. Sometimes they're kind of more of a darker color or a clearer color, which from what I have uh, what I understand is more of the the wild strain. It's how they look. They're still cherry shrimp. They're neo cardinia shrimp, but they're not the the cherry color they're they're essentially bred to look like that i guess so <clears throat> um i plan to buy some more at some point i mean as long as i continue with this i don't know i might add some fish at some point uh i might add some more of the lemon tetras for my son but i like the idea of this just being a chill uh cherry shrimp tank full of shrimp and plants very low maintenance I have to trim some of this rotella because it was literally uh, it was literally to the top of, of the 55 gallon so since the 55 is much taller than the uh, 33 it's kind of I mean, it's kind of crowded here um, one thing is frustrating to me is uh, the fact that <laughs> I don't know if it's from like bacteria or from the plants or from the driftwood but the sand gets dirty pretty quickly honestly it's like you might put it in and then you see all this you see all this crap everywhere this debris I don't know what that is and there's not really there's no fish in here so it can't be fish uh, waste and as far as I know, the, the shrimp have like barely any bio load, so I don't think that's what that is. I'm guessing maybe some decay or something is coming either from the driftwood or the plants. So that's what that is. Oh, the cherry shrimp there in the back. <laughs> My plan is to essentially if I stick with this tank, um, which honestly, it's probably my best interest to do so, both from a, a maintenance aquascaping standpoint and also what my floor can handle. Um, I want to fill this tank up again like crazy with plants. <clears throat> kind of like I had the tank before where it was just like literally like a jungle where there was tons of rotella all along here various little crypts along here and then basically I had the whole like wall almost of a uh, crypt Valencia. so I kind of want to get back to that because that's that's one I had the tank like that for a long time if you guys remember um, and I was I was happy with it so plus um it, it made the, the water more stable in the off chance that I, I do happen to maybe uh excuse me add some more fish 
I opted to uh, separate the Crip um, Spiralis from the Balenci. Just because um, they're, you know, they're not technically the same species. They look really similar. But, like, if, if, if I wasn't up close and I was looking at them, this would, like, if I was sitting back in my chair, this, uh, this Crip Spiralis here basically kind of looks like this. But when you get up close, obviously, it doesn't, it doesn't look like that. And this stuff is just kind of withering away. It just kind of looks like shit. And it always seems to happen whatever you transport around. It's weird because the Crypt Spiralis doesn't seem to melt as much. The Balenci does, though. The Balenci seems to, to bounce back really fast, though. And I do have to get some of the roots down in there. Or some of the roots down into the substrate a bit more. There's a cherry shrimp hanging out there. <clears throat> I only have one filter on this tank right now. Um, mostly because, you know, like I said, it, it, there's no real huge bio load in this tank. It's just shrimp. Um, I could probably hook up, hook up, hook up the power heads to have a little more flow. Plus, I was kind of worried about the cherry shrimp um, due to the fact that <clears throat> my Aqua Clear 50 filters, um, I, I only had one sponge because uh, I've had multiple situations where they will actually get stuck in the, the, um, the tube and either they'll just, they'll get stuck and they'll die or they'll just, they'll be stuck there basically until you un unplug it. So I kind of like to avoid that if I could. It also um, gives them another like area to kind of like graze on. Basically, kind of like how this one is doing in the back. <clears throat> but um, yeah, other than that, <clears throat> can't really uh, can't really think of too much else to say. I returned the light that I had because I don't I don't need that phoenix stingray 2 fixture for this 33 long and to be honest i i wasn't really a big fan of it because it's super bright the regular phoenix stingray is bright enough for this room as well as this tank and i'm happy with it the only thing i don't like about it is the fact that it doesn't come with any kind of like moonlight option which i think is kind of cool <clears throat> I, I threw this heater in there um when I first just set up the tank so that way the water wouldn't be like like free literally freezing cold when I put the cherry shrimp in I know um, the cherry shrimp don't really technically have to have to have a heater from what I've gathered I mean the heater's not on right now it's just in there I don't really like digging around too much with it so in case I had to like just turn it back on um, I just leave it in there <clears throat> um, yeah, um, I used the water from the hose outside when I filled this tank up, so sometimes it tends to be really cold. Like I said, I don't really, I didn't want to like flash freeze them essentially. I mean, if it, if the water's probably around like, you know, like 68, 70 something, it's probably fine, but anywhere kind of like going down to like, below 65 or in the 50s I didn't I don't really want to uh, risk that I was thinking about it recently I actually missed my white clouds I, you know I had those suckers for so long it's one of the things I miss about this tank I had you know a huge this huge jungle look to it I loved it the plants just grew like crazy and I had tons of white clouds. I had those specific gold white clouds and they're huge. And uh, they were very hardy. Sad that they're gone. I haven't, uh, I haven't been able to quite get anything like that since. Even the white clouds I had got a while back were not like as hardy as those ones that I had initially years ago. I'm not sure why. Plus uh, they were they were huge. <clears throat> um, they had like grew in size since I had them, which is very cool to see. So, <clears throat> all right, guys, I think I've uh, 
I think I've rambled on long enough. Let me know if you have any <clears throat> suggestions or comments. And I do possibly add or plan on adding a background to this at some point. I'm kind of tired of the black background look. I might add something like kind of like a frosted background, more of a kind of a neutral, you know, um, neutral look. But yeah, um, let me know if you have any suggestions um, in the comments. All right, this is Gray Aquatics. Peace.